the structure of all the membrane of all the cells of um, animals so bacteria of a human is made of um, lipid balayers. And the lipid balayer basically is a border between the inside of the cells and the outside. So all the communication, all the nutrients need to cross the membrane in order to get inside the cells. So it's very important to understand how the um, lipid balayer is structured, or it can communicate with the exterior of the cell. Currently, I mean, for example, to study, I mean, uh, bilayers or membranes or cells, uh, scientists uh, rely on the fluorescence technique, confocal fluorescence microscopes. These microscopes um, rely on the fluorescence probe. So you need to introduce some foreign element inside your cells or inside the materials you want to study. So you perturb, in fact, your own system. And you can, I mean, these uh, probes, fluorescence probes, can be even toxic. It's not the best of the system. I think with this technique, you just rely on the vibration of a molecule. You don't have to prepare your sample, you don't have to introduce anything. It's just, you take the sample and you study it. One of the most important items on this uh, TOR system is what we call the scanning objective. It's been developed by Horiba to achieve TORS with high reliability. Basically, the, ob the scanning objective allows you uh, to get a hot spot at the apex of a tip and to maintain it continuously during a scan. So there's a scanner and the props. So the props give you I mean, the enhancement of the field that you want to have to get any signals. Oriba offers two types of different probes, gold and silver. Silver suffers from oxidation, so the key element that we deliver this probe is the passivation layer on top of it. So that's avoid, in fact, oxidation, or the oxidation process will span over a period of like seven weeks. So you can use one probe for seven weeks. The spring constant of a probe is designed so that you can use your system in contact and non-contact mode. Because when we do a torsion measurement, we make a first measurement on non-contact mode and then on contact. So we have to swap between the two modes very quickly on the order of a millisecond. And you need to have a right uh, spring constant of a probe, otherwise you will damage your sample or break the tip. So all these parameters are perfect. <laughs>